Let's take a look at problem number six. Uh, this is solving a compound inequality. Um, maybe I should say it with two parts. Uh, let me let me do it that way. So solving a. There we go. Solving a compound inequality with two parts. Step one, uh, solve each part separate. This is like version one of putting this into these into steps. Um, now these are going to be linear inequalities at this point, um, so you have to use the same steps as that. Now after you solve each part separately, then uh, we're going to graph, graph uh, each piece. And if we have an OR, then our answer is where anything, anything is shaded. And if we have an AND, then our answer is where, is where they are both shaded. And let me, um, up here, uh, when I solve each piece separately, I know what they're going to be. They're, they're going to be, um, linear inequalities. So um, I won't write down the part about um, combine together like, like terms, combine together numbers in a step, but first step, get rid of parentheses. You do this via the distributive property. Second step, get rid of fractions. Multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. Third step, get everything with an X on the left side numbers on right side. And uh, last step, uh, divide both sides by the number in front of x. Now I have a note here, if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, flip the inequality symbol. So let's go through and um, use this to solve this solve this problem. Okay, so this is problem number six. And we got three x plus four is greater than sixteen. Or 2x minus 3 is less than 15. First step, solve each part separately. Um, get rid of parentheses, there is none. I'll do the one on the left here first. Get rid of fractions, there is none. Third step, get everything with an x on the left side, numbers on the right, so take the 4 over. It actually doesn't matter which side you get it on, but I think having x on the left side makes these a little easier. You take any number across your inequality symbol, the sign changes, so the 4 becomes a negative 4. It's implied to combine numbers at any step. 16 minus 4 gives us 12. And then the last step is divide both sides by a number in front of your x, which is a 3. So we get x is greater than 4. Now over here, um, same steps. Get rid of parentheses, don't have any. Uh, get rid of fractions, don't have any. Third step, get everything with an X on the left side, numbers on the right side. So I'll take negative 3 over, and it becomes a positive 3. At any step, combine together numbers. 15 plus 3 is 18. And last step, divide both sides by a number in front of your X, which is 2. And that's going to give us X is less than 9. And there's an OR between these. Now sometimes, uh, you can look at this and just see what your answer is, but a lot of times uh, looking at the graph will help help figure it out. That's what uh, 2 is here. It says graph each piece. Well, here's 4, and here's 9. X is greater than 4. Greater than implies a parentheses versus greater than or equal to, which would be a bracket. And greater than means I'm shading to the right. So it looks like this. 
Now, x is less than 9. Uh, again, parentheses because it's less than versus a less than or equal to. And less than means I'm shading this way. Okay, so our step says if your if your problem has an or in there, it says the answer is where anything is shaded. If there's an and, then the answer is where they're both shaded. This is an or, so it's where anything is shaded, which is all real numbers or negative infinity to positive infinity. Now I'm not sure how they write their answers here. Let's go look. Uh, all real numbers, how they write it. So this would be C. Let's check that. Six C. And that checks. 